Greetings, YouTube. This is uh, Farmer Son Prepping here. Wanted to do a video today. You know, uh, I know it doesn't really feel like it here, <laughs> and it won't till November, but fall is coming. Uh, winter is coming. So we're thinking on winter things today. Uh, and we're talking about like 10 vital uh, ways to um, stay warm in a grid down winter emergency. We're going to be talking about some of the things needed to sustain yourself, to keep yourself warm in a winter emergency. I'm calling a winter emergency uh, a grid down below freezing event. That's what I'm calling a winter emergency. No power, uh, so no primary source of heating. All right, let's get into it. Hope y'all are having a blessed day, uh, first and foremost. Here we go. Uh, the very first thing you need for a winter emergency event is alternative heat source number one thing to have is alternative heat source now we don't have winter emergencies at the farmer son prepping household because i have a 250 gallon propane tank and a propane heater that works without electricity and the reason why i have one is because we typically have two to three outages per winter and for winter down here that's like three months you know typically december january and february is our winter and you know you, you know usually around the last of march it starts warming back up so the number one thing is alternative heat have alternative heating capabilities propane wood stove whatever that might be uh in your situation have alternative heat source available. Make sure you have fuel for your, if it's a wood stove, make sure you have plenty of fuel for that. If it's propane, make sure you have enough fuel cap capacity to, to get you through, you know, so you can heat and not be freezing. I would say the second key thing to surviving is layer your clothing. Uh, you know, of course, have winter clothing. Most people do have winter clothing. But uh, thermals is one thing you can do. Wear thermals under your primary layer. Uh, so layer your clothing. This is just common sense stuff, y'all. I get that. Um, and any hunter, anybody that's hunted out in the woods or sat in a tree stand, freezing their tail off, waiting for a deer to walk by, can tell you this one. Wool socks. Have you some wool socks. Have multiple pairs of wool socks. Uh, wool socks will keep you warm, keep your feet nice and warm. Uh, and so have you some wool socks. Uh, wool hats and gloves and even scarves. Like if you're up north, you have to wear scarves. Uh, so have all that stuff. Wool is the best, I mean, when, when it comes to keeping you warm. Wool blankets. Uh, I have a military wool blanket that I purchased. I believe the where I bought it from was called sportsmansguide.com. They have a lot of military surplus. You can find wool blankets and wool socks and that type of stuff there. So wool blankets can help you stay warm in the winter. Of course, a good four season sleeping bag can help you stay warm in the winter time. I do not currently have one of those, but I've already got one picked out, and I will be getting it as soon as I can, uh, financially, because it's a $200 sleeping bag. But yes, a four-season sleeping bag can help you very, very much, keep you warm when you're asleep. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Um... Packaged hand warmers like uh, hot hands, those types of things can help in a winter emergency. Those are good to have as well. Uh, 
other things you can do is uh, you know have of course you're gonna need lighting in a power down event uh, so emergency candles and the reason why I say emergency candles is because if you're in there freezing the more candles you have lit the better you know it's not gonna heat your house up but it keeps it from being you know that much colder so uh, of course you know your battery operated lanterns are great to have but they don't really add much to your heat you know close off unused rooms it, this is another thing you can do uh this is kind of goes in the same with this other create microclimates if you have unused rooms uh you can in a survival situation close off all the other rooms except for the one you're in now this is not going to do your pipes any good <laughs> you're going to have busted pipes probably if you do this in a sub freezing temperature that's why it's important to have a way to heat your whole home, you know. Uh, but yeah, in a survival situation, you can close off all the rooms, hang up blankets or sheets or whatever you got available, bedspreads, hang them over the doorways, close off a room, and keep that one room warm. I actually do that in the summertime because my AC is not the best, so I will close off unused rooms to keep the rooms cool. The same, same thing uh food y'all food can help you stay warm well farmer son how the world's that work well let me tell you uh if you're cold and shivering your body's burning calories trying to stay warm uh and having a full belly can help you maintain your body heat a lot better uh you'll have the calories to burn if you are shivering or cold food can absolutely help having a full belly can keep you warmer okay uh, let's see where we where we at here uh, I've already talked about uh, alternative heat so this is just a few things that was on my mind today uh, you can create what's called a microclimate uh, by using a tent uh, the reason why you would use a tent is because, like, to sleep in, you would set up your tent. Of course, you're not going to drive stakes in your floor or nothing like that. But set up your tent, put your sleeping bag and your wool blankets in it. And that tent will typically keep your body heat in a lot closer to you. And you'll notice when you get out of the tent in the mornings, like, the house is about typically about 5 degrees colder than inside your tent. So you can create microcultures or uh, microclimates, my bad, uh, by using tents to sleep in. The, you know, these are extreme situations, y'all, but uh, it can help. It can definitely help. If you have a tent, set it up wherever you want to sleep. Put your sleeping bags and your wool blankets in there, and uh, you know, have you some heat, warm, hot, hot hands or whatever. You can survive. So this is what we're talking about today, y'all. Uh, please remember to like uh, the videos or unlike them if you don't like them. Uh, don't mind me. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment uh, if you can. If you have ideas, we'll be glad to have those. Uh, Romans 12:21, my new end of the video spiel, y'all. Be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. I hope you're having blessed days. I hope you're all already prepared. That would be the, the place to be at right now. But uh, some ideas to help keep you warm this winter. There's already been talk going around when they have a dark winter. I don't know what that means. Winter is usually dark anyway. We have shorter days, you know, ergo dark winter. But anyway, these are some ways you can keep warm in a winter emergency. And again, I'm defining that as a below freezing off grid event. Uh, and I hope it helps y'all. Uh, I hope this gives you some ideas, some things you need to get together. Uh, just be thinking about it y'all. It's coming, it's around the corner. Appreciate y'all watching. Uh, and appreciate we're up to over 400 subscribers now. That is awesome. And uh, oh, I want